love it. And welcome back to Feed the Beasts, Day of 20s, 116, Mod Pack with me, Trimus. How is everyone doing? I hope you all had a, a very good weekend. Uh, so, last episode, we went to uh, uh, one of the dungeons and completed it, and we got a lot of goodies, which I still need to go through, but we'll have a look at them in a minute, just in case, if for whatever reason you missed it. But, uh, there's something I want to get some feedback on, which is why I'm doing this right at the start of the video, so you guys can see it. Uh, I'm not 100% convinced on it, it's something I keep wondering about doing, uh, just to add a little bit of extra in the videos, you may have heard it, it's called VTubing, it's where you have a character such as this guy, and it can kind of face track and mouth track and do a little bit of few actions uh, unfortunately I don't have any like uh, motion capture stuff for my arms or anything like that and as you can see it's not perfect for actually capturing uh, me because of my glasses well that's why I'm putting it down to anyway uh, but yeah, I kind of want to get a little bit of feedback whether or not you guys would want this or not. Uh, I know one person's particular opinion, uh, opinion said they don't need to comment. Yes, you know I'm talking about you, Miss Jew. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, just kind of some feedback. Yes, no, if not, why not? If so, why? Um, if I did continue on it, now this is a pre-made model, I would like to get my own personalised one, rather than having this white-haired, blue-eyed guy, uh, <laughs> I think that it doesn't suit me, this is just a, an example of what can be done, um, but yeah, like I say, unfortunately with face tracking, that's the main problem I've got because of the... Uh, my glasses I think uh, maybe the beard as well maybe the, it doesn't like the beard but <laughs> but it is a free program if you're wondering what I'm using it's called a V up uh, and it's very easy I mean I figured it out fairly quickly uh, it's actually free on Steam if you guys want to get to go like I say all you need is a web camera you don't need any specific thing uh, as I understand it somehow you can also use your own mobile phone so you don't even need a webcam <laughs> if you've got a mobile phone that has a camera and you can connect it and you're able to scan those uh, barcode things or QR codes I'm an old man I am an old man I don't know what these Q codes are uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I just thought this might bring a little bit of life into the videos and if I get back into live streaming instead of seeing my ugly old man bearded face you'd have a anime character instead <laughs> like I say it's up to you let me know what you think in the comment section please please do let me know what you think I'm really interested in knowing what you guys what your opinions are and thoughts on it <laughs> it's a bit silly that, that's all it is it's just a bit of silliness anyway I'm going to leave the guy up for today and then hopefully I'll get some opinions back for the next episode so uh, because I've spent a little bit of time going through Mr. Blue Haired Blue Eyed White Haired whatever you want to call it uh, guys we're just gonna have a very nice simple crafting experience today uh, but first this is everything I collected on that dungeon run last time which was uh, kind of cool uh, 13 diamonds not too bad eh? but the more important thing to me is the uh, ender pearls because I'm hoping that we could be able to get to the end kill the dragon and have a fly around the end and see what we can find I'm not expecting a right lot because it's just a normal default world as far as I'm concerned. 
but yeah, I mean, we've got 14 blocks of gold. That's nothing to sneeze at. And some of these enchantment books, especially this one, this here, sharpness three, holding four, power three, protection three. I don't think I could put this on my mech suit, as far as I know, because the only one it seems to be able to accept is gloom and block reach. But uh, that's by the by. Uh, but yeah, we've got some other enchantments on some of the armor that we've got, including Soulbound, which is fairly cool. Uh, an efficiency there, some diamond horse armor. And if we ever want any magma blocks, that's the place to go for. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, we've also got a couple of decent bows that we might be able to combine together to help. Uh, attack the dragon but as you may have noticed in the top left hand corner there is something else I want to use to try and kill the dragon and that is the mecha tool that's what we're going to be crafting up today like I said nice simple episode just because I kind of wanted to introduce you to this guy like I said so yeah all we need for this is the configurator which is a fairly easy thing to make uh we also need the atomic disassembler a little bit more complicated if you haven't got the resources because you need an atomic alloy and the refined obsidian ingot the rest in it is easy uh two hdp sheets which obviously we know how to make uh, a couple of ultimate control circuits again atomic alloys elite circuits a little bit harder to make but it's just basically locked behind these plutonium pellets but we have got them and the basic induction cell which requires that lithium dust nothing we haven't really seen before but still i thought it would be a good idea to kind of run through a couple of things so here we have the atomic disassembler there we go this guy here is the basic induction cell with the energy cube, the energy tablets, the lithium dust. Making this because we don't really make these that very often. And then obviously the finished product here with my configurator in that I've already got. That's full of energy which I'm hoping won't interfere with things. I can't see it will, but you never know. Uh, we might need to make another one of these. Uh, which is no problem at all. I may need to make another one anyway if what this tool does uh, would actually do. So, yeah, let's get the atomic disassembler made. There we go, nice and easy. Then the induction cell. Again, pretty easy once you've got everything uh, up and running. Then we want the mecha tool itself. There we go, no problem. So that's full of energy. It's not going to transfer over, unfortunately, but considering it's only like 60 kilojoules and this requires 60 megajoules, yeah, it's not going to make much of a difference anyway. So we can go and put this on charge. I'm wondering if it will it work in there. It will, and that's going to take quite a little bit of time to charge in there. So let's see if it makes any difference if we go and put it in here just out of curiosity there we go uh yeah that makes a little bit more difference <laughs> that's almost full uh so yeah there it is all right cool we have the mecha tool uh you can barely see it let me just try and take that off there we are yeah pretty cool pretty cool uh, i've never had this thing before i believe it is only a mining tool so i can use it as a, a, an axe per se i don't know unfortunately it's decided to uh completely vanish did it go in my pocket storage do i really have wood in here oh no it wouldn't it would have gone into my uh quantum bag of course it would have I uh, can also use it for mining as well. There we are. But it's also a uh, a weapon. There we go. That's probably gone into there. There we are. Uh, as well. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Because if you remember a couple of episodes ago when we first made the mech suit, I made the mistake of making uh, some attack upgrades for this thing. Um, thinking it was for the actual... Uh, mech suit itself there we go the attack amplification units we made four of these guys if you remember 
which are in this chest here, but we also have another crafting recipe here because you may have noticed there's something else I want for this tool, and that's the silk touch unit to allow all mine blocks to drop of themselves, obviously. And that is for the mech tool. And this guy requires two reinforced alloys, two diamond pickaxes, the module base, three plutonium pellets, and something else that we haven't made today made before which is refined glowstone and refined glowstone is made very simply with osmium ingots and glowstone in an osmium compressor so i've got them here so we're going to give this a go so there's the osmium compressor we'll put in our nine osmium at the bottom and the glowstone at the top and we'll see if what we have to do for these because it seems to be taking up a lot more osmium than it does uh, for the obsidian, because normally that's like a one-to-one -one ratio, uh, this seems to require a lot more than just a one-to-one, -one, which is surprising considering. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more osmium, uh, which is not a problem. We can sort that out. See, I've never made this stuff before, because I am very surprised that it is a not a one-to-one -one basis, but see we've got a little bit of osmium left in there because of that. But not to worry. So we can make the block easy enough. There we go. And then we can take these attack amplification units out and the uh, recipe for the silk touch module. And we need to, just need to go in here for that. There we go. Done and done. So I'm going to presume it's exactly the same as the suit that we need to come over here, put that on there in the modification station and we put that in there. There we go, one silk touch and then we can put the four attack applications in. I don't know how much uh, damage this guy actually does to begin with, but we can find out. Alright, cool. So let's just uh, get rid of uh, the backpack. We'll put that in there. We're going to have a sleep because I think we've been invaded. Someone snuck into our base. Uh, let's see who this guy actually is. No, he's not there. I, th I thought I saw the, uh, uh, the swirly lines. Maybe it was just me. Hmm. Where are you? Oh, another plague doctor. Uh, plagued by plague doctors, huh? I'll tell you. Uh, so, contaminated food, yeah, you've got nothing. Uh, okay, so, what was that? Okay, three hits to kill just the plague doctor. Hmm. Well, there's a spider over there. Uh, it feels like it should be a gun. It really does, like it should shoot lasers or something. Uh... Let's see what happens with death and uh, nothing. So yeah, this is just as an attack weapon. Two hits for a spider. Okay. I don't know. I just thought it'd be a lot stronger um, than what it actually is, especially with the app, uh, with the attack units on it as well. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Head mode, feet mode, chest mode, uh, module tweaker. Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything there for it. Oh, we've got that. We've got options. We can actually turn these things on and off. Oh, we've got attack damage here. Oh, okay. So, what I did then was actually push uh, the hashtag and then we can actually uh, tweak the modules per se solar recharger a jetpack unit there we are hover disabled okay 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 see I'm learning which is pretty cool as always radiation so okay we've increased this the attack is there another spider there we are and a one hit kill that's better i still feel like it should be a laser though i don't know okay mr creeper excuse me mr creeper do you have a moment to talk about jesus one meeting um 
yeah that's much better one hit attack damage so like i say on this uh, what you've got to look for is on the mechanism and it's the module tweaker that you want and then and then you can click on the actual tool itself attack amplification and then you can up or down the damage which is pretty cool uh don't worry sheep i'll leave oh i seem to be oh okay i'm about to say i seem to be jumping high for some reason but that's my jetpack okay so silk touch are you on yes silk touch is on that's cool that will be useful uh something i do want to test is in the under garden if you remember those smoke stacks if we can get them don't know what i would use them for at the moment but still that is pretty cool i think we can use this to uh we can get it to chop down the leaves and we actually get the leaves so that's pretty cool and again i think we can turn this off if we wanted to yes we can turn the silk touch on and off so that's fine that's very good and like i said we can use this to chop down trees uh, it's probably a little bit slower than my s actual saw. Yeah, I think this, the actual flux saw is faster. Uh, but that's not too bad. I don't know if there's actually any speed upgrades. Uh, there's a vein mining unit which might be useful. Especially with silk touch farming. Teleportation unit. One I would like to look into but it's just locked behind the antimatter palette so yeah it's kind of one of those things uh so yeah i think that will do it for today's episode so like i said a nice short simple one uh, i can say it's more about the character in the left <laughs> tell me what you think please and if you've got any other hints tips comments complaints or even suggestions uh feel free to put them down in the comment section below and uh if you did enjoy today's episode please don't hit that like button and if you're new please consider subscribing but regardless thank you very much for joining me and i will see you guys next time bye